Okay, so today I want to teach you guys this effect of turning your daytime footage into some good looking realistic nighttime footage. Obviously you want to shoot this during the night but there's many reasons why you wouldn't want to do that. But anyway, let's get started. So we're working with DaVinci Resolve today. If you haven't used it before, it's quite similar to Premiere Pro. It's um, just a bit cleaner, I kind of prefer it. Let's just start off by getting all of our footage into one place. You, you want to start off by getting your daytime footage and we want to replace it with some sort of sky, so stars or anything that kind of represents nighttime. Then from here, we basically will combine it together for cause a new fusion clip. This means we can use both the media inputs and affect them inside our fusion scene. Cool. Renaming it so we have a clear idea of what's what. Now we want to track the footage. We want our sky to look identical and want to capture the movement that we get from the original input footage. Quite simply, we use a planar tracker. What's cool is we can create a mask around the area that we want to track, hit track, and we get given our movement. We want to create a key which will basically remove all the sky from a certain luminance. Depending on your sky, it's probably most likely going to be blue. Depends on where you live, I guess. Cool. Now, when we go back to the tracker, we can grab the, the transform. When we go to the transform, we can apply that to our replacement sky. Cool, so now we should have our replacement sky can match the movement of our plate. Cool, you can see here that that's what's happening. But the issue is now we can see the edges of the frame. So what we need to do is we need to scale that up so we see no, no black bars, no outside area. Just scrub through the whole timeline to make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be there. Cool, looks good. Now I just want to make sure the foreground and background are set to the right way. We obviously want our sky to be the background and the, the plate, the, the daytime image to be the foreground. Sometimes your key might not get areas you want to get, so here we can just put a, what's called a garbage mat. You basically just do a really rough mat of the area that you want to key and everything else just gets ignored. This here is a quick, easy way to get that done. Cool, so now we're gonna add a color correct node. And this is where you, we're gonna get that nighttime look. So during nighttime, everything's a lot more desaturated. So that's the first thing we're gonna do is desaturate the image, get rid of most of the colors, about half desaturated. Um, and then obviously it's a lot darker, so we'll reduce the gamma way down. Yeah, really looking better. Bring up some of the blacks again. Bring the brightness down, the overall brightness of the image. Cool, but it's, it's, it still doesn't look right. The white balance and the, the colors don't really match the background, so there's a bit more blue hue we want to get back into the image, so. Let's move the master and then also the, the shadows and the highlights to kind of better match the image. Just play around with what, what works. Cool. the difference that makes pretty big but still not perfect so I want to move up the sky to get a bit more of the horizon in there I mean so the, here the, the key obviously isn't perfect there's bits missing out but you you get the idea same with same with the, the color correction um, 
a little bit more tweaking. Needs a bit more blue just to match the sky. Um, cool. Now I'll just kind of quickly slap it all together to get a preview, and here's what we get. Yeah. So I mean, it's far from perfect, but we. You get the idea. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like it, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. Sweet. Thanks for coming.